I'm Jaku, I'm from Somerset, West South Africa, and this is my real life story of how I reconnected with God. I think about 1995, I decided that accepting Christ is the best thing to do. And um, we led the life that we were supposed to, um, according to the word. I've married a nice girl. We had three children. I was close to the Lord. We did our quiet time, went to church on Sundays, and everything went well. Then all of a sudden, stuff became important that was not important, um, like money. I started smoking all of a sudden. And then obviously, along with that came the, the booze, alcohol. I started working long hours. My family never saw me. Yeah, uh, sometimes it was days at a time at work, not going home, not missing my children, not missing my wife. So the fast cars, the booze became priority in life. Um, and I shut down from, from anything, anything else. Didn't go to church anymore. Quiet time was something of the past. And then um, I lost my wife. Uh, I lost my children. I lost my house. I lost everything. I sat alone in the United States for two years. Um, working and then I decided I need to come back to South Africa but now I cannot stay here because I don't have a job. For a little while I stayed with my brother until everything got too much there and then I stayed uh, with a friend of mine at a cellar where I started working as well. In 2009 during harvest time I went through my suitcase where everything I had was in it. I discovered a book. Um, the book's name is Man with Balance. It was a Christian book with uh, scriptures in it. I started reading at the day's passage that uh, I read a piece there and, and all of a sudden, you know, it was like years before when I gave my life to Jesus and I said to him, here I am again. And he spoke to me again, you know, um, and I couldn't believe it. I mean, really? And uh, I heard the voice and he said to me, what are you doing? He asked me twice and I realized that it was him speaking and um, and everything just broke down again. So he took me through a whole process of telling me what I did wrong and uh, also telling me what I need to do to call everyone that I hurt and, and ask for forgiveness. The toughest one was finding my ex-wife to tell her that um, I messed up and I'm sorry. And the second toughest one was finding my dad because I mean, I was in grade 10. He chucked me out of the house um, and I never forgave him for that until March 2009. I phoned him and I, and I said to him that I could forgive him for what he did. Two years later, he, he died of illness. So now I'm on my way to recovery and uh, with all this he have me met a, a, a woman. He let me fall in love again. So we got married in December the same year but the Lord wasn't finished yet. Uh, he gave me a better job with a better salary and today he made me an owner of that business. I didn't have a vehicle so he gave me a company vehicle. I smoked for 20 years. The one day I just put it down and I said I'm done. Looking back now, and you see all the steps that, that one has to go through, the money wasn't enough, the, the alcohol wasn't enough, everything wasn't enough, just because of one thing, the Lord wasn't there. I'm a better man now, um, I'm a little bit wiser. He gave me the wisdom to not fall back to the ways that took me where I was, down the dumps. He gave me everything back that I have now, and I realized that. 